All right, man. Welcome back to Brain Flow TV slash Hot Topics TV. You already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And let's get right into this one. So Kelly Rowland, her treatment at the Kane's red carpet is part of a bigger problem. Yeah, this happened recently, but not so recent because this was published around the 24th of May 2024. Today I'm doing this video is the 30th. I don't know when I'm going to post it to the channel for you to see or hear it. But I do believe that this is a discussion that needs to be had. Because I do have some choice opinions based on experience and facts. Now, if you've seen this photo around of Kelly Rowland looking very confrontational or very defensive, I would say, with one finger up. Basically, they turned it into a meme. And it said, if I send you this photo, you know what you need to do. I'm going to be honest with you. It looked like she is telling her, back the fuck up and don't put your hands on me before I got to lay hands on your ass. You know what I'm saying? It's always cool until they bring out that nigga raw out of you. Now, this week, Kelly Rowland, what well, not this week, but recently, she had to put a security guard in check at the Cannes Film Festival. Our stunning diva was serving elegance and opulence on the red carpet mingling with her fans, taking pictures, be there just serving greatness when she was abruptly ushered inside by some overzealous security guard woman. The security guard apparently had overstepped her boundaries and it seems as though Kelly was not having it and she reminded her who she wasn't. Don't you play with me. Don't put your hands on me again. For those skilled in lip reading, you could see Kelly firmly telling the guard not to touch her and reminding her, I'm not a child. Don't put your hands on me. Meanwhile, supermodel Heidi Klum floated through the festival all up and down that carpet, just spinning away like a ballerina taking a million photographs without a security guard in sight right around the same time enjoying her moment in the spotlight the difference between Heidi Klum and Kelly Rowland is Heidi Klum is a Caucasian European woman and Kelly Rowland is a black woman African American Heidi Klum attends the event and she is off doing her thing and being admired. Even Beyonce's publicist. Yvette Noel sure Took to Instagram. To highlight the difference. In the way Heidi was treated. Versus the way Kelly was treated. She even posted a side by side comparison. That showed Heidi Klum on bothered stroll. Versus Kelly Rowland's interrupted moment. I mean, they rushed down on Kelly like <laughs> she, you know, when you get to a club and they're like the selective kind of a club and they're like, you could get in, you could get in, you please step to the side. You're not dressed properly. You could get in, you could get in, you over there, please step to the side. That's how they rushed up on her. There was a guy assisting the female security guard. He had his hand outstretched like stay in your lane. And then while they were trying to take pictures, the paparazzi is there. They're trying to take pictures of Kelly. And here goes this security guard blocking the pictures from being taken. Like standing right in front of her with her arm outstretched, which I thought was foul as hell. And I'm sure Kelly thought, er, I got to smile through this. Why this bitch don't move out my way? Does she know? I know she knows who I am, right? However, she wouldn't move. She proceeded to put hands on Kelly Rowland to usher her in the direction she wanted her to go. And that's when you saw the other picture come out with the finger wagging where Kelly is telling her, don't put your hands on me. I'm not a child. I don't need you to tell me where to go or push me around. Kelly Rowland then addressed the incident in an interview with the Associated Press later on, saying that she understood that the guard had to stand her ground, but that she, Kelly herself, 
had her own ground to stand too. She noted that there were other women in attendance who didn't quite look like her, if you know what she means. Let me be blunt. They weren't black. Okay? The white women at the event, they were not scolded and they were not pushed off the red carpet. So Kelly said, I had to stood my I had to stand my ground. Kelly Rowland says, quote unquote, I have a boundary. Now, after a video of her argument with a red carpet security guard at the Keynes Film Festival went viral, the incident underscores a serious issue beneath the festival's glittering surface. It is the unequal treatment of certain stars on the red carpet. If non-whites appear on that carpet, they are pushed and shoved and rushed off the carpet and if the and then the white stars they're given all the time in the world to take as many pictures as they want to they are simply pointed in a direction which they should proceed to next not with anybody rushing up to them to bombard them and lay hands on them and push them in a certain direction you know and a lot of people were saying Kelly Rowland deserves the same respect She's just as big a star, if not even bigger, than most of them who were in attendance. She's a Destiny's Child, for crying out loud. After her interview with AP, Kelly Rowland returned to the carpet with no security invading her space and gave us a stunning candid, which we're still admiring. And I bet they won't play with her like this again because she had to stand her ground. But the question is, why did it come to that? Why did she have to stand her ground in that manner? Why didn't the white people or the white women or stars who were on the same carpet given completely different treatment? Well, I'll put it to you like this. I don't know why anybody is surprised. I think a lot of people are delusional. Because you go around thinking that majority of a certain people actually do like you. And they don't. Okay? And I know people are going to try to turn this around and say, nah, maybe it's one or two. No, it's a whole lot of them that don't like your kind. Or don't like anybody who is different from them. Not just black, Asian, um, Hispanic, whatever else is out there. Brown, yellow, whatever you want to call it. If it ain't white, it ain't right. That's been the sentiment without them even saying it. For instance, we're asking a couple of questions here. For one, I would ask, how come people like Heidi Klum, who enjoys all this freedom and this worship, how come she never turns around and say, hey, why are you accosting, attacking, touching or pushing Kelly like that. You know who she is. I know who she is. You guys aren't treating me that way. Why are you treating her that way? See, sometimes it takes your white friends to stand up for you in an environment that is controlled by people who look like them, right? But what I find is these celebrities, majority of them, they enjoy the privilege they enjoy being the ones who are allowed to stroll the carpet and twirl around like ballerinas and take a hundred photographs before they go off to their next stop. And they know because they see it. They see the security guards moving towards the non-white stars. They see the security guards pushing and ushering them in a direction and treating them different. And yet they stay silent and they say nothing and yet, you call them your friends. Hmm, that's very deep. Kind of reminds me of when I was in school. I was going through university and I remember we had a discussion in class. And I remember a Caucasian American woman said, I would never know what it feels like. Because we were asked to explain certain things. And one of the things had to do with a police officer pulling up behind you in traffic and as a black man I said 
when a police officer pulls behind me in traffic, I get nervous, automatically get nervous. I'm a law-abiding, tax-paying citizen, a U.S. Army combat veteran, served in the forces, so, and I'm an honorable citizen. And I still get nervous. I still, I start questioning myself. Did I do something wrong? Is there something in my car that shouldn't be in my car? Is there something on my person that shouldn't be on my person? Mind you, I know for a fact that I have nothing on me that is illegal and I have done nothing wrong. But I still question myself. That is how unsure you become when they pull behind you because you know that they have the authority and the power to turn a simple traffic stop into your death or into your life in prison by simply planting something on you or by simply escalating a situation to the point where it requires them to use force and then it is justified. I also said in that class while explaining that, I said, listen, as a parent, my children are now teenagers and they're, they will soon be old enough to drive. At the time, my children weren't teenagers. They were pretty young. This was years ago. And I said, the day will come when they will be able to drive. And I will be worried sick when my son gets into a car and goes off into the city. I'll be worried sick until he comes home. Because I'm going to be worried about him being pulled over by a Caucasian police officer and what the outcome might be. So I have to already be teaching my children at home how to interact with a police officer, especially a Caucasian police officer, when they are pulled over. Turn the car off completely. We even went as far as to say take the key out of the ignition and put it on the dashboard. That shows you have no sign of running away. Put both hands on the steering wheel and keep them there. Keep eye contact with the police officer at all times. Not in a threatening way, but in a manner where he knows that you are not a threat. If he asks for driver's license registration and it is in your glove compartment, ask him again or tell him, Sir, it is in my glove compartment over there. Do you want me to reach over there for it? Say it slow. So he hears you say it twice. Do you sure you want me to reach for it and then reach for it? Now, why would we have to take all these steps and be scared as parents and our children have to be taking all these steps to remain safe because it's not the same treatment that's given to one that's given to the other. The woman in my class her husband's a construction company owner. She is a mom who is going through school, college, getting a degree, um, changing career fields. She almost cried. She said, as a white woman in America, I can never relate to what you just said. This is horrible and horrifying. And if I had to live like how you just described, there would be outrage. But I can confess that I have never worried about my daughter. She had a teenage daughter and a teenage son who drives a truck, a big fancy pickup truck with loud music jacked up high. She said, I'm never worried about my daughter or my son when they jump in their vehicles and they leave home. I'm not worried about a police officer pulling them over. I know they're safe. And I said, that's the difference. You know yours are safe. We know ours aren't. Apply that same principle to this interaction that Kelly Rowland had at this event, at the Keynes Film Festival. And then you'll understand what this was about. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And I'll catch you on the next video. It's Hot Topics TV slash Brain Flow TV. You already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. I'm out. Peace.